Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn, I'm 27, I'm from Belgium and I'm a huge Catherine Hepburn fan and today I'd like to show you my collection. Um, I've been collecting all kinds of things about her for the past four or five years now and there are two rooms in my house, a big one and a smaller one, that are entirely dedicated to her. So, let's take a look, shall we? So, this is the first room in my Catherine Hepburn collection. As you can see, I've got a theatre section and here I've got all kinds of magazines and postcards. Many people ask me why Catherine Heber. Maybe I should explain at first. So in 2003, Kate Blanchett made a movie called The Aviator. Uh, Kate Blanchett is also one of my favorite actresses. And in that movie, she played the role of Catherine Hepburn. Um, and I watched it, I think, five years ago. And I was really interested in this character that she portrayed, this actress. So I looked up everything I could find about her and started watching her movies. And that's how it all started. This is my postcard collection. So I've collected about 300 postcards, uh, mainly from the 1930s and the 1940s. Um, I've also collected about 100 smaller cards. Um, these are cards that were offered in Belgium with chocolates or uh, with matches or other things. So these are smaller cards. Uh, this is my collection of film programs. So they don't exist anymore, but in the 1930s up until the 1950s, uh, film programs were popular in Germany and in France. So most of these programs are in French or uh, German. As you can see, they feature the story of the film and uh, photos from the film in about 16 or 20 pages. So these are from the 1940s. And then I've got another album with movie programs from the 1950s. This is the theatre section of my collection. So Catherine Hepburn was not only a film actress, but also a theatre actress, mainly in the 1950s, when she toured Australia with the Old Vic Company. Um, I've got a couple of playbills from her plays in the 1940s, 50s and 60s. Uh, this is Without Love, 1942. As You Like It, The Millionaires. Coco, and this one's from the Philadelphia story, which was later made into a movie. So this is the second room in my collection, the biggest room. Uh, when I started collecting, I collected everything, posters, magazines, everything from the 1920s up until the 1990s. But I soon realized that it would be too much. So um, now my main focus is on the 1940s. So the room starts in 1940 with the Philadelphia story and goes from Woman of the Year 1942, Dragon Siege 1944, Song of Love 1947, up until 1951 uh, when the African Queen was made. As I explained earlier, my main focus is on the 1940s and the first movie that she made is The Philadelphia Story, which was released in 1940. Next up we have we have the Tracy Hepburn part of my collection. So Tracy and Hepburn made nine movies together. Six of them are from the 1940s. The last one they made together was Guess Who's Coming to Dinner 
and Spencer Tracy died soon afterwards. So I've got a couple of Belgian posters which I really like. The colors are really beautiful. So the first one is from the Sea of Grass from 1947. The second one is from Pat and Mike 1952. And then I've got Desk Set from 1957. I've also got a couple of lobby cards from the Sea of Grass. A poster from Without Love. And a lobby card from Woman of the Year. Next to that we have a couple of magazine adverts from Tracy and Hepburn movies. So, Keeper of the Flame, Without Love, The Sea of Grass, and State of the Union. These are press books from a couple of their movies, Without Love and The Sea of Grass. And a book and a couple of postcards. Next up we have my DVD collection. So I've got all of Catherine Hepburn's movies. My favorite ones are Woman of the Year, Bringing Out Baby, The Lion in Winter and The African Queen. Next up is my book collection. So on the first and the second shelf we have all books that were written about her. And at the bottom I've got all kinds of books about other actors and about Hollywood in general. So as you can see a lot of books were written about her. Uh, some are really nice picture books, others are biographies. Next up is the movie Dragon Seed which is from 1944. So I've got an American poster from Dragon Seed and four lobby cards. Uh, this was a movie about the Japanese invasion in China. The next movie she made was Undercurrent, which is from 1946. Uh, this is a French and a Belgian poster. A poster from a recent movie festival and two photos. I've also got one lobby card from Undercurrent and a reproduction of the American one sheet. And as you can see a press book and a magazine featuring undercurrents. And next is a collection of audio CDs. So these are radio plays or audio books. Uh, Catherine Hebron only did a couple of radio shows. Next up is my magazine collection. As you can see, I've got a bunch of magazines uh, which we feature Catherine Hepburn on the cover or have an article about her. These are all American magazines. So the problem is that I haven't got enough room to display them all. These are uh, German, Dutch, Japanese and Spanish, Italian, Swedish magazines. And on the bottom shelf I've got French magazines. I've also managed to display a lot of my magazines. So here you can see about 12 magazines from America, Germany, France. Here you can see yet another bunch of magazines. And here we've got another load of magazines. 
these are mostly American magazines. Uh, most of them are from the 1940s, but here we've got a couple of them from the 1930s. Next up we've got Song of Love, which was released in 1947. Um, I've got all eight original lobby cards from Song of Love. The sheet music press book, the Belgian movie poster, an advert from a magazine, and then I've got Spanish lobby cards and an American poster. Next up is my article collection. So I've got a little folder for every movie she made with all articles I've collected about that movie. I've also got this one, which is not about a specific movie, but a general article collection about her. Next up, we've got the part of my collection that I like best. And that's my photo collection. So for every movie that was made, a certain amount of photos were distributed to cinemas. So these photos are all 8 by 10 inches. And I think I've collected about 300 now. So about 80% of them are originals. Most of them I've collected are from the 1940s. So this album is from 1944 and has all pictures from Dragon Seed. This one is from 1942 and 1947. But as I can't display them all, here you've got all of my other albums. This is from 1946 for example and features photos from Undercurrent. Uh, this one is the 1950s, so photos from Pat and Mike, the African Queen. As you can see, I've collected a lot of these. I love collecting the photos. I think that's the most beautiful part of my collection. And um, unfortunately, it's become uh, too much to display them all. But um, I'm really proud of this part of my collection. This is my African Queen corner. So the movie was released in 1951. It's one of the most well-known movies that Catherine Hepburn made. Um, the movie also starred Humphrey Bogart. Catherine Hepburn even wrote a book about her adventures while making the African Queen. Most of it was filmed in Africa, so if you're interested in Catherine Hepburn and would like to read something more about her, I'd really recommend this book. It's really funny to read. So that's it, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing my collection, please feel free to leave comments, thank you for watching, bye!